In this video, we're going to focus on how we can format the date and the, or at least the tooltip item here where we have the month and the year. As you can see here, we have modified this year and of course it makes sense to make sure that this is in the tooltip is being shown as well. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to remove the time details from the tooltip in the time scale on Chart.js. So first thing what I want to do here is go to Chart.js3.com getting started, which is the default, where we get our default code. And you can find this link also in the description box. So scroll down here and then just copy this entire chunk of code here. Once we copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video, which explains it all. Then I'm going to paste this all in here. I'm going to cut this out and replace this title here. Save, refresh. There we are. So now we have a beautiful bar chart. And what I want to do now is this bar chart. I want to convert this into uh, proper dates that we have like a, a date structure. So to do this, what we need to do here is to add up here a specific JavaScript file, which is the date adapter. So to do that, go to chartjs.org, go to ecosystem. Once you are here, you are basically on the awesome section of chartjs. Scroll down, then search for adapters, or click here on the adapters. You'll see three options. I tend to use this because this one tends to be uh, the only one with a single file needed. Well, Luxon requires two files, but I know that this one's easier to use for me personally, so I use this one if I need to do some adjustments. Although this one tends to be fine as well if you are familiar with it. And we're going to Moment. I would re not recommend you this one anymore because this has been deprecated. They're not updating Moment anymore. They have moved to Luxon instead. So I would say if you don't need any adjustments, do this. If you need adjustments, do that. Use this one here. I use the date FNS and we're going to use some very basic adjustments from the JavaScript file itself. So I'm going to scroll down here, copy this, and then once we copy that, I go back here, and make sure you paste that in there. We'll make sure that this being loaded after the chart.js library has been loaded. Why? Because the chart.js chart library has certain variables that is required to load first before this will activate. So if I save this now, refresh, nothing happens here yet, but we have now this item active. So let's start to activate the uh, time scale. So I'm going to say here in the X and Y, I'm going to say here uh, type, and our type will be now the time scale. And then we're going to say here time, which is the time object now we are allowed to use because we have this now activated. We have this object here. We say we want to switch to the time object, and this time object is registered in our adapter. And then in here, we can say here unit, and let's say here just month. So if I save, oh, sorry, not like that. We can just put the unit and then beside unit, we put month. Save that, make sure you have a comma here, save, refresh. All right, so you can see here now it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work probably is, or we forgot a comma, or, all right, you can see a reference error, error. Let's go to month, of course. This must be a string, make sure you have a string here. Save that, refresh. So now it doesn't show any details. Why it doesn't show any details? Well, we didn't indicate a date because right now we only have this here and what I want to do now is specific date so I'm going to just grab here and put in the current dates here let's say uh, the month we just put it like that and then here and here and here and what I will do is eventually I want to convert this to a single month February March April May June and July. If I save this, refresh, we have this here now. So now it shows nicely here. And what I want to adjust here, this weekly sales, this should be monthly sales. Doesn't make any sense. But what is really important is this here. In our tooltip, we have an issue. Look at the information here. We get here the specific date, the day of the date, and then you can see here also the hour. And now, if we have a full month, it would not make any sense to have that. So what we should only have is maybe here the month and the year. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to scroll down here. And then in the tooltip, we're going to play around with one nice item here. So I'm going to say plugins. And I'm going to say a tooltip. And in the tooltip, we're going to create callbacks. And the callbacks here will be specifically for a title of the tooltip. So the title of the tooltip is the 
bolded font, while the label or the body of the tooltip is the color box plus the non bold or the normal font style. So what we want to do is the font, the bolded font, we want to adjust to Feb and then year. So for that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here, I want to pinpoint the title. And in the title, I'm going to say your context. And you see, a, this is a callback functionality. So we could put here these items here, the uh, parentheses, but it's not necessary if you only have one value. So in our case, it's not necessary. Say so context, and then we use here an arrow function expression. And then in here, what I want to do first is to show you what is the context. So let's save that, refresh. All right, so we have an unexpected identifier 96. No comma here gives us an error here. So make sure you put a comma, save, refresh. All right, so now we have this, and it doesn't show anymore the title itself. So that's nice. And the reason why it doesn't show is because we didn't return any value. So don't worry, we're going to add up. However, we do get all the valuable information here. And what I need is basically this here, the parsed x value, which is the date in milliseconds, basically. So this is a huge amount of numbers. But this here, if you would understand the logic, it starts from 1 January 19. 70s so that would mean that from that moment on it will calculate whatever the date is so let's copy that and we're going to start working on it to convert that into a readable date so i'm going to use just basic javascript for this so first what i'm going to say here constant let me say a new date or d equals new date with capital d and then we're going to grab here where this value how do we grab this value well remember we are in zero from context index zero, parse x. So we're going to say a context index zero dot parse dot x. So once we have this, what I want to do now is I want to format the date. So I want to create a constant, and we say a formatted date. And this will be equal the D for the date here, or this constant here. And then we're going to say here to local string. Then here, we use this, put a comma, and then here, parentheses. What we're really doing here is we can break this down in all different formats. And if we really look at it carefully, uh, this one here, you can see here, this is what we call the JavaScript date local string value, where you can go in and break it down into everything what we want. And in our case, what we really wanted was just only two items. I want the year and the month. And you can see here the selection we have. So what I'm going to do in here is basically in a uh, object because this is the date object that we created and then we're going to say here the first one which is month and we can select here what we want do we want two digits do we want long what do we want here in this case i'll just get short which is basically three letters so we say short which is a string value comma and then here afterwards i want to get the year and if you look at year we have two options two digits or numeric so in our case we're going to do numeric which means four digits so I'm going to copy this. This is a string. Put it in there. Save that. Refresh. Now hover over it. Oh, it doesn't work. So why doesn't work? Well, simply because we didn't return any value. So we go in here. Just in there. And then we say return what exactly the formatted date constant. Save this. Refresh. Now we have here the date and the month being shown and nothing else. We excluded everything else. And that's basically how you can play around with this. So if you want to learn more, if you want to really explore more, I uh, highly recommend you to watch this one here, how to format dates in the tooltip where we just go deeper and deeper into it, how to do AM, PM, etc., etc. All these kind of things. So watch this video of how to format dates in the tooltip in Chart.js.